if you're watching this video right now it means you've been making research on how to install vs code on android i've been getting a lot of requests lately from viewers to make a video on how to install vs code on android so in this video i am going to do exactly that i'll guide you through the installation of vs code on your android device using tamox but before proceeding to watch this video if you look at the background you're going to realize that i'm using an operating system called debian in a previous video that I have made, I have shown you how to install Debian on your Android device. So it is important to watch that video. That video is showing at the top right corner of your screen right now. Make sure you watch that video before proceeding to watch this video because you actually need that Debian to install VS Code. So go and watch the video on how to install Debian on your Android device. Then you come back and watch this. And um, without wasting much of your time, let us begin. So welcome back, by now you should have watched the video on how to install Debian on your Android phone now. If you have watched that video, just log into your Debian by using the Debian command just like I showed you in that video. Then create a new session to Tamox and give Tamox storage permission, okay? To give Tamox storage permission, use the command Tamox setup storage. And then after that, you're going to click on enter. But on this Tamox, I already have storage permission. So I'm not going to, you know, repeat that process again. Then after giving storage permission to Tamox, navigate into your storage directory and print the working directory of the storage folder, okay? Now copy that working directory and then switch your session back to Debian. Now you're going to give Debian access to that storage folder by typing the command ln-s and then you're going to paste the working directory of the storage folder there and as you can see, we now have the storage folder displaying on our Debian. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to download Visual Studio Code from its official website, okay? So to download Visual Studio Code, click on Other Downloads, and in Other Downloads, you're going to see um, the .deb version there, okay? You're going to see AMP32 and AMP64. It is important to download the one that matches your, your CPU architecture, okay? So to know your CPU architecture, navigate back to Tamox. Navigate back to Tamox and type the command uname dash a and click on enter. And as you can see, it says my CPU arch is ARM version 71, which is actually the ARM 32. Okay, so you're going to click on that. But if yours says arch 64 or ARM 64, it means your phone is 64 bits. So you're going to download the ARM 64. Okay, now you're going to click on download and um, of course visual studio code is going to begin downloading so let me click on details and show you what it looks like so as you can see i have downloaded the 32-bit version of vs code okay so now we're going to navigate back to tamox and start our vnc server start your vnc server with the vnc server command and then click on enter then of course open your net on x application and log in just the way i showed you in the previous video okay now that you're logged into Debian, open your terminal and then navigate to your storage folder by using the command cd storage. Then we want to navigate to the download folder, so forward slash downloads. Okay, then you're going to locate the Visual Studio Code.deb package. Okay, so you're going to copy that. Copy. I'm going to copy this now. And then you're going to move it to the root folder. Okay. So you're going to do that with the mv command you're going to type the command mv then you're going to paste the code name and then you're going to specify the directory which is the root directory okay so now if we go back to our root folder and type the list command as you can see we now have the visual studio code.deb file there so to install visual studio code you're just simply going to type the command apt install dot forward slash then you're going to paste the name of the visual studio code.deb package you're going to click on enter and then you're going to wait for your system to read the file and then you know you're going to wait for the download to start you're going to click on yes when it's ask if you want to continue and then you're going to let the installation finish now that the installation has been completed we are going to edit the vs code application startup script okay to do that navigate into the user forward slash share forward slash application directory and you know the name of that um, file is code desktop click on that file and then you're going to add the script to the execution script okay you're going to add dash dash no sandbox okay you're going to add no sandbox and then you're going to exit 
so you're going to exit with the Control x command and now that that is done you can now you know locate your vs code in the application menu as you can see right there that is vs code so you just click on the application and then vs code is going to launch okay but first let me add it to favorite so that it can be shown on our you know our genome doc now let us start the vs code application as you can see the application loaded successfully so now you can proceed with using vs code just like you use it on your you know on your laptop and your desktop devices on your android phone to start a new project click on the file menu and click on new file okay click on new file and then you're going to name the file so i'm going to name this file code.html so and then you're going to click on enter and then uh, i think your folder should pop up now in the folder that pops up you're going to specify the directory you want this code to be stored okay so um, i'm just going to create a new folder and then you're going to click on create file after that and that is it vs code should launch so this is how you basically install vs code on your android device and start coding on your android on the go just like you do on your pc so to the most important aspect of this when you're done you know coding your project always make sure you kill your vnc server to kill your vnc server use the vnc server dash q with your one command <clears throat> and then that is it that is how you install vs code on your android device i hope you found this video helpful if you did please like and subscribe to this channel uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye